In this video, I'm going to be doing a front wheel bearing on a Polo. I've already started stripping it down, but I thought I might as well document it, since it's one of those jobs that not everybody has done before and doesn't know how to do it either. Um, but to start with, I took the axle or drive shaft nut off off there. It's a 36 mil, and then that'll allow you to pull the axle out of the back. I've also disconnected the tracker end, that was a 19, but if it's had aftermarket ones on it could be an 18 and 19. Um, and then hammered the actual hub itself and that dropped out. So then that allows me to turn this more than full lock so then I can pull the drive shaft out. I'm also going to have to disconnect the lower ball joint, I think that's a, an 18 on this one. Again, that depends if it's had aftermarket lower ball joints because that might be a 19 or an 18. I'm also going to take the caliper off, which is two 7mm Allen bolts in here for the slider pins because it's a, a 1.2. I think the, the PD-130s and the GTIs do have uh, two 18 mils for the actual carrier. Whereas these ones have got the carrier built in. So that's the that's the only real difference in this job. But yeah, the caliper's coming off, discs and pads off, and then I'll be un, uh, unplugging these. There's a plug there for the pad sensor, because this is the front left. Uh, if you're doing the other side, it'll be there won't be a pad sensor wire. There's also the ABS sensor plugged in there. That's, that's on all four corners. So unplug those two, pull this horseshoe clip out of here for the brake line, and then hang the caliper up there on the spring. And then there's a 10 mil on this bracket, just down there, down the back of that plug, to take that off. Um, I guess you don't really need to, but it might just make it a little bit easier for access when I've got it in the press. There's this, that's an 18, and then there's an M14 spline on the other side of this bolt. And then once that bolt's out, I'm going to have to hammer the, the actual hub or the knuckle um, down off the strut. And then it'll be free so I can press out the old bearing and press in the new bearing. So I'm going to start with taking the caliper off and then bottom ball joint. And like I said, strip all this stuff off here. And then I'll put the camera back up. Right, so I've finally got the hub off. And now I'm just going to remove the ABS sensor to try and avoid damaging it on the back side there. And then I can press out the old bearing and press in the new one. Right, so now I'm on the press. How I've got it set up is I've got these two caliper carrier brackets on one of the plates and then on the other plate I've got two of these well I think they're originally from a bearing press kit um, not bearing a bushing press kit for uh, fitting like rear axle bushes and uh, the rear bush for a front arm on like golfs and polos so they're quite big but they take most of the strain and level it up if you like now you can see that the bearing is starting to come out already. Now I've got these on this side in line with this big cast iron arm that comes off the hub. So all the strain from this side is going straight onto this arm and the strain from this side is going straight onto these legs. Now that's the best way I could get it to be level or near enough level. And then I'm just pushing it straight on the the hub or flange pushing it straight on the flange inside the bearing and it's just pushing it out slowly um, it'll build up a lot of pressure and then it'll skip and drop a little bit more so it can be quite scary if it's your first time doing it but if you're expecting it then it's no big deal uh, this is a 20 ton hydraulic press you can rent these or sometimes borrow them or if you take your hub off and then you've got transport to uh, an engineer's place or even a garage they'll probably just press it out for you and press the new one in for a small fee maybe 20 pound or so 
but this is how far I've got so far. So once I've got this out, I'll be cleaning up the hole for the bearing and then putting the new one in. Right, so I just thought I'd show you this. This is the old bearing, obviously, and that's the new one. Some wheel bearings are held in with a big sir clip around this bit in the back of the hub because you press it out backwards. These ones you press out forwards so they've got this like toothed collar so it holds it in. So once it's pressed in it's not going to come out because these are like little barbs that hold it in. So I'm going to press this one in now. You've got to use a tool that presses in on this outer bearing race. Just well that's what it says on the uh, disclaimer that you get in the box it says to use the proper tool that presses down on the outer bearing race so it doesn't damage the internals by pressing straight on the outer flange so I'll be getting that pressed in now and then putting all of it back together on the car yeah, I've just cleaned out this bar with a wire wheel on a die grinder uh, you can probably use a wire wheel on a drill, or even just do it by hand, but it'll take a lot longer. Now, when my camera focuses, you'll be able to see there's like a lip at the back there, all the way around. That's what the bearing sits against, rather than having a circlet. So, there you can see, that's where the ABS sensor comes through, and then you've got this lip here, which holds the bearing in from the back. And then, like I said, those barbs on the actual bearing hold it in from the front. So now I've cleaned it all up, I'm going to put the new bearing in, and then I'll be going back on the car. Right, the new wheel bearing's in now. I've uh, put the drive shaft back in, the bottom ball joint, and the track rod end. And now I'm just doing the last few bits. So I've put that bracket back on. Still got that bolt to put in and tighten up, and then caliper back on, plug the wires in, and then that's job done. So, probably another 10 minutes work. I've got to clean this bolt up, because they're an absolute nightmare to get out when they're all rusted up like that. So, I'm going to wire wheel that, stick some copper grease on it, and then put it in. Some people might say don't put copper grease on it, because it might back out but it's got a nylock nut on the end of it and I've never ever had one back out obviously you don't blather it in copper grease but just a little bit right, so we're all back together now everything's tightened down um, I ended up taking the slider pins out and re-greasing those cleaned them up and re-greased them I'm just going to stick some copper grease around this and then put wheel back on right so that's the wheel all topped down now so that's that job done Nice and smooth now, no rumbling. I've got the rear drum brakes to do on this, new shoes and wheel cylinders. But if there's anything else you want to see, let us know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.